Hi, my name is Jim Snoozy. I'm the sales manager at Curtis Trailers here at the Aloha location. I wanted to go through the Denali 307 Rear Lounge fifth wheel with you. First thing I'd like to point out is it's got the colored exterior instead of white like most of the other trailers. It looks more like a painted trailer. This is an infused fiberglass, which means if you get a chip on it, it will not be white. It's the same color throughout, so it's going to look the exact same even if you get some rock chips. It's got the uh, outside speakers for a sound system. Nice big outside storage compartment. This gives you a huge basement you can get to from either side or the nose. Great access, easy to put in lawn chairs, other outside items. It's also got the slam baggage doors. Just let go of the door, it closes itself like on a motorhome. It's got the LED light strip underneath the electric awning. Also, you notice we have triple steps to get inside the trailer. It makes it a lot easier to get in. It's got a friction door, which means it stops wherever you put it. You don't have to have a tie back to break off when somebody grabs the door. It's got aluminum wheels, so it looks a lot nicer, more like an automobile. Get a nice big bike rack. This is a place to put generators, bicycles, firewood, whatever else you might like to have there. This is one of the features customers like the most about the Denali. You've got a backup camera. So when you're inside your truck, it has a color monitor. It will actually show you from this backup camera what's behind you. You can also hear what's going on. So if your partner is backing you up, they can say two feet, one feet, six inches. You can not only see what they're doing, but you can hear what they're doing from the cab of the truck. It's a real nice safety feature. Also give you a ladder to get up on the roof. The reason that's important, you're supposed to get up and wash your roof and check your seals, you know, three, four times a year. If you don't have a ladder, that's just going to make it a lot tougher to get up on top. One of the other things you're going to get on the Denali that most fifth wheels do not have is the back end is solid. It's laminated. Most of them are a hung wall, so when you push on that like I just did, it would flex in and out. One of the other things you get on the Denali is you get a cable slide. That saves 400 pounds on the weight of the trailer. It also gives you an even four-point of contact when you bring the slides in and out for a better seal. Get a 10 gallon water heater that's direct start ignition so you don't have to come out and light it with a match. Most of your trailers are going to be six gallons in this size. It's also got large holding tanks if you like to dry camp. You've got 66 gallons fresh, 96 gallons gray, 48 gallons for your black tank. Huge holding tanks. Which incidentally, by the way, are easy to get to. This is where you hook up your hose, your knife valves are right here. They're very easy to open and close without hurting your back. They give you a light so you can see what you're doing at night. You got your hook up here with 50 amp service. Water hook up in your sani flush, which cleans out the toilet tank when you're done with that. Again, the other side of the basement for your access. One of the things you get right here is the remote control for the automatic leveling system. You just push the button that says auto level, you walk away. While you're hooking up your water, your electrical, your cable, by the time you're done doing those three things, the trailer's automatically leveled itself out. The last thing I want to point out on the front is they give you a very nice aerodynamic cap. This is designed for touring. It's one of the few fifth wheels that's going to be in that 34 foot range. It's under 10,000 pounds with three slide outs. I'd like to take you inside and I'll show you what we have in there. So here's the inside of the Denali 307. What's unique about this floor plan is a couple things. First of all, we get two super slides opposing each other, so it's very wide. We've got a 12 footer on this side, 12 footer on that side, feels like a great room. The other advantage to having the two big slides is you can get away with putting an island in here without it feeling cramped, which gives you lots more counter space as you can see. Another advantage of this floor plan is you get all of this you can use for a buffet center, you can put a toaster, a coffee pot, bread box, uh, have lots of plug-ins, so you can leave that stuff there and still use all this for prep area. The other thing you're going to get is lots of cabinets. You notice how it's designed like after a home. They don't go all the way up to the ceiling. It's actually got a little nicer design to it, different size cabinets, really nice cabinetry with the antique stain. Big refrigerator freezer, it is the 8 foot versus the 6 foot. Largest oven that's available, they make three size ovens, this is the largest oven available. One of the things I always point out on the Denali also is the microwave is down lower. So when you're going to get in the island is you get lots of storage. You get this cupboard, two big doors here for a garbage can, nether cupboard over here, slide out pantry, and then a nice big walk-in pantry with shelves. So you've got plenty of room to put your food, pots and pans. Over on this side of the trailer you've got a freestanding table and chairs. Chairs do have storage underneath them. It's a good place to put your placemats, napkins, things like that. Another nice thing about this particular floor plan is the couches in the back. 
You don't have to move the chairs and the couch every time you close the slides. You've got a nice wall hugger couch with a recliner, which is unusual. Most of them are only gonna have them in the chairs. This will heat up the whole lower section of the trailer down to about 45 degrees pretty comfortably with the electric fireplace. We've also got lots of storage for DVDs, CDs, books, things like that. Comes with a big flat screen LCD TV that's high definition. This is a glider so it takes very little effort to run it and it's also a full recliner incliner for comfort. In the bathroom they're going to have different colored cabinets than down below. Down below we've got the cherry, up here we have the more of the whitewash so it kind of breaks up the interior a little bit on the trailer. It is a Jack and Jill bath, which means you can get to it from the bedroom or from the side. So if you have company, you can keep the bedroom closed. Grandkids can come out and go to the bathroom from this door. Your bedroom is closed off. So this is going to be storage underneath the bed. As you can see, you have plenty of storage for additional chairs, uh, bigger, bulkier items, whatever you might want to put down there. It also has a nice big queen residential size bed, so it's very comfortable for two. Nice little nightstand over there to put your glasses. You get lots of cabinets lots of hanging space and also your bedroom is six foot four height here but then it tapers down for mileage you're also going to get an additional closet right here so thank you for checking out the denali one of the things i failed to mention earlier is this is a great coach for four seasons use it is the only fifth wheel out there that has an r40 insulation rating in the roof nose and floor so it's going to be very comfortable Again, I wanted to thank you for taking a look at the Denali. My name is Jim. If there's anything I can do, please feel free to come down and I will be more than happy to show you the product.